And now as we get into this game against Dignitas, if BDS can keep that style of play up, it's going to be a difficult task for Dignitas to try and respond to. Absolutely. We are underway with game number one between Team BDS and Dignitas. And right off the jump, it's marked by eight. Right dead center of the goal. First one on the board 12 seconds in. Yeah, and it's feeling very similar to that opening series. We saw them get a goal in the opening 15 seconds of that first one as well. So more of the same here from Team BDS. It was a defensive mistake from Dignitas. Team BDS able to capitalize. And yeah, I mean, off to that quick 1-0 lead. And good job on the rotation back there as well by Mark by 8 to stop that attack in its tracks. It is BDS in the blue, Dignitas in the orange. As Mar uh, Monkey Moon takes that one away, apparently Jack on the goal line has to make the save. The transition starts now. Good block from Extra. The other interesting little stat is we've got uh, a couple of pretty good games ahead. Of course, this one against Dig, and then not too long afterwards in Top Blokes. We're going to be watching three of the top five goal scorers from the first regional sleep. Of course, Extra being uh coming in at number two on uh uh on the tournament but uh, a player to watch out for here with dignitas is uh Jorias as he finished i think fourth in goal scoring in the tournament and uh, i mean it he's been quite a mechanical player here for dig keep an eye on him to see what he can do to open up some offensive space yeah definitely some bigger players here on this dignitas team with the ability to really make things happen on their own. It's a team that I really expect to see a lot of solo plays out of, especially with how you were mentioning Gloria's uh, being one of those top goal scorers. And, you know, in order to get past the passing play that BDS consistently puts on, ooh, it was a good opportunity there for Monkey Moon. But in order, I think, to get past the passing style of play that we've seen from Team BDS, you do need to see, I think, some more solo plays coming from the other end because you're going to have to very quickly move it downfield. And unless you can match the efficiency of passing that BDS has, it, it's really going to be individual efforts down the field from Dignitas that I think could be the difference maker oh. as another opportunity coming close. Yeah, that was a nice little touch. Nearly found the pass there for BDS. They're going to have to play out of their own zone now. Joria's going to take control, blocked away by Monkey Moon. Cross the way, here's Joria's down to apparently Jack, but Monkey Moon cuts it off. Island Panda able to keep things moving in the offensive zone, but it is given away to Extra. And we've crossed over the halfway point. One nothing game in this best of five game, number one. Very similar to the first uh, game that we saw in that last series against Rix. Pretty low scoring affair to start things off. Pretty defensive, and it's been relatively even as right now. Apparently, Jack is not enough boost in the tank to find the fake. An extra will clear on, but as far as possession goes, Sleeky, both teams I think are comfortable in this position. Obviously, Dignitas need to score a goal here, but uh, the possession game has been quite even. Yeah, the possession game has been even, but I think the opportunity game hasn't. We've seen a lot more, I think solid opportunities out of Team BDS so far. I, I think I've counted four or five different times where they had a really solid opportunity uh, to come away with a goal. It's been good defense from Dignitas so far. And I mean, like you said, with that possession, they've been able to move downfield, but I just haven't seen anything overtly dangerous from them. They've had a couple of good opportunities, but I think overall Team BDS is winning the chance battle in this game. Certainly right now, they've got the lead where it matters with the one goal on the board as good block at the top of the box there. Chidori is trying to find some more space. Monkey Moon trying to use the back wall, give away to Violent Panda, but he can't get it on goal. Everybody's out of the net and that will be the tying play. Dating the tots, draw out the defense if we're tied at one. And it's uh, similar to last series as well in that the only times we've seen BDS give up goals so far today, Hunted, was through triple commits. And it was another one right there. All three players on Team BDS committing on that ball. Not a single one of them comes away with it, and it leaves the net wide open for Dignitas to get that equalizing goal. 
we've seen them give up two goals today, so both of them have been pretty egregious triple commits. We'll see if they can clean that up as we continue on. Mike Moon over the top, out in front. Mark Baik can't get there in time. Great touch on the ball. And now apparently Jack is going to try to turn. Gets bumped off. Here comes extra as Mark Baik waiting for it at the midfield line. Going to play this one up, but it is blocked away. Still Mike Moon lurking. Turns quickly. It's now Violet Panda. Mucky Moon down to extra. Pops this one up. Two players back for Dignitas. Mark Bay will make the play. Bump is there. Monkey Moon's going to get there a bit late, but keeps it in the zone. But it will be cleared away, and it looks like we may just have overtime, and we will as Mark Bay plays it into the turf. Yeah, overtime in game number one. And again, it comes off the back of that triple commit that BDS had on their line. If they space out a little bit more in that situation, I think they had a good chance to save it there. And instead, they give away the equalizing goal. And now they're forced to play overtime here in game one. And, you know, one mistake, and they can lose this game one to Dignitas. They're really going to have to step it up here. Absolutely. Dig looking to find this first game. The giveaway out at the midfield versus Jorias to make a tough save. Monkey Moon wants to keep it moving. As apparently Jack, not the greatest touch, but it does have help in a teammate on the back wall there. It's now marked by eight. Flick towards the back. Played away. Here's Monkey Moon. Can't quite win that challenge. Extra wants to turn it, but again, will just fall to the midfield line. Apparently Jack down out in front, but nobody threatening right now from Dig. It's a good little pass on to Jorias, but Mark by 8 will take it away. And we've got overtime minute gone. Still tied up at 1. Both teams looking for that opportunity to put themselves out in the lead. Mikey Moon might just find it here, Sleeky, if he can turn it towards. Extra's going to play it in, play it up high. Now down in front, apparently Jack off the back wall keeps it away and we stay playing. Yeah, but I like that opportunity from Team BDS and as well the pass off the ceiling realizes that the opportunity is there if they can follow it up. Oh, oh double touch opportunity. The follow up low, the follow up again. Going to be on target. Extra able to pick up that triple rebound and send it through. And it's this style of aggression from BDS where they're all spaced perfectly. Extra gets fortunate how the ball squeezes out. But in the end, he's right there. And BDS takes game one. Yeah, that's a smart play by Mark Bahid as well. Goes low with that, that I guess you could call it the secondary shot, that initial rebound shot. Goes low and then actually forces apparently Jack into a tough block. Kind of had to rotate and flip his car in a way that I don't think he would have wanted to to play it away an extra, as you said. Right on the ball to be able to knock it home. And that's a 2-1 victory for BDS, but it required overtime again. You know, don't want to harp on it too much because it, defense has been stellar throughout the day for them so far sleepy but again they've given up two goals on the day and both of them have been pretty nasty triple commits of course we don't want to continue to see that need to look at this to, to see how they clean that up yeah and i mean i don't think it's harping on it either it's been the only two goals that we've seen them give up other than that the defensive rotations and just defensive play overall has been phenomenal if they can Make sure that those triple commits just don't ever happen. It, it looks like it's almost nigh on impossible for them to be scored against because every other time they are playing with perfect spacing with one another. And just because I see a couple of questions in chat real quickly today uh, is kind of a group stage. There's uh, 16 teams here in the grid. We're playing in groups of four. You play everybody in your group one time, and that determines seeding for the uh, single elimination bracket tomorrow. So we've got Rocket League today, Rocket League, same time tomorrow uh, to determine who will, uh, of course, walk away with uh, with the victory. So uh, again, in our group, it was Ricks earlier, now Dignitas, and then Top Blokes after this series, just to clear everything up. We appreciate you all for joining us here on this English restream as we've been having a lot of fun. EDS been having a lot of fun today too, Sleeky, though. Apparently Jack gonna take a little bit of the joy away from that one. Good save on the line. Monkey Moon can't get it down to mark by eight. This could be dangerous. 
Solid touch from Extra, and he'll play it away. And Extra doing a good job of tracking them, especially on the backboard. It was a good opportunity for Dignitas. They were setting themselves up really well. Marked by eight, maybe a little bit early on that one, but the follow-up, oh, so close. Oh. Apparently Jack has to come across net in order to make it to that one in time. And this is a, a, a similarly close game, I think, between these two teams on it. Back and forth they go, and I, I have to say Dignitas is, is doing a great job of making opportunities of their own down the field. Yeah, Dig has been playing this one very close. Violet Panda can't get that around extra. This could be dangerous. Mark by eight, just trying to maintain possession. Ends up into apparently Jack's hands. But will be blocked away. Good secondary touch as well. Mark by eight trying to do everything on his own. Bounces out to extra. It will be played away. Now everybody caught downfield. Extra has to hustle back. Ends up getting it off the back wall, and that will clear things up. Almost caught there was the BDS offense. Maybe bit overzealous to find this first of the game. They're getting close. It's a lot of attacking opportunity that's happening right now, but this could be actually a breakaway for apparently Jack. Doriaz was getting it down in front. They were getting some solid spacing, but again, this BDS defense so quick to get set back in their own half. It's straight down and oh no, extra. Just misses the ball, can't quite get it on target. And that was a golden opportunity for BDS to take the lead. My goodness, a rare mistake from Extra. I mean, that was a wonderful pass. Beautifully done. But Extra just can't quite come away with the shot. So we continue to stay tied at nil. Minute 50 left to go. But this is uh, going to be into the BDS zone, though not for long as Monkey Moon sends Jorius to his back line. Here's Pilot Panda screaming down the wing. Plays it towards the front. Monkey Moon will pick things up. And he is over. Apparently, Jack, this could be dangerous. Saved away. Rebound. Just blocked on the line. Extra can't get to it. What a clutch play there from Jorias. Yeah, that was real close. Jorias doing a phenomenal job of getting up in front. Dignitas really picking up the pressure right now, trying to take the lead in this game. And I think... You know, even though there's a minute left on it, I think this is a one goal game. I think whoever is able to grab the opening goal is going to be the one that takes this here because it's been such back and forth defensive pressure that I, I really don't see there being more than one in this game. No, not with the time remaining. Certainly 45 seconds regulation time. This last, uh, this first goal could very well be the last goal of the game. As right now, Jury has great save by Monkey Moon. Just gets a piece of it. Marked by Aiden transition. Double touch opportunity, but it will be played off the back wall. It's now extra over. But again, another huge save on the line. We have seen clutch save after clutch save from both of these teams. What a game, too. And yeah, this game, too, so Razor thing close. Oh, the pass was there for Dignitas as well. Just not able to get it together. The final 10 seconds ticking down. And I think that we're going to have overtime here hunted. It'll be the second in a row. And that is exactly what we end up with. Wow. Very, very close series so far. OT in game number two. It was BDS to take it in the first one. We'll see if they can do it again here and just, uh, you know, if, if Dignitas take this game, I think Extra is going to be thinking about that chance he had a little bit, a little bit harder, Sleegy. It was a golden opportunity. Trying to push it out of their minds now. RBDS going to have to play some defense. Good block from Extra. Forces apparently Jack back to his own zone. Not a lot of boost to the tank. Mark by eight out in front. Monkey Moon's there, but it's blocked away. Defenses hold strong again. Somehow that's kept in by the double commit of BDS. And they're going to continue to put some pressure on here. As Juriez over to Extra. Now apparently Jack has to play it from inside the box. It does fall all the way back down in the first minute of overtime. And game two's gone. Ooh, this is a really good opportunity, though, for BDS. You can see them spacing out for it. Oh, that was a big block, though, coming from Dignitas. They saw how the opportunity was opening. Oh. Double touch was there, but it's just wide into the defender. And BDS tries they might right now, 
are not having any luck on stringing together enough power on these passing plays to beat out the defense. Dignitas is matching them pace for pace in this game. It has, uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. It has been so close as far as pacing has gone. Dignitas has kept up with BDS, certainly so far in this series. And they're looking to equalize things right now as extra good bump on the play. Gives Monkey Moon a little bit of space, but apparently Jack down in front, easily cleared away by Mark by eight. Violent Panda patiently out of his own corner. However, Monkey Moon's there to cut it off, though nobody able to continue this one. Jory has over the top, and that'll do it. The giveaway in midfield gonna cost BDS and Dignitas to tie the series. Yeah, an extra reaching for it, but just can't quite get the height in time. And Dignitas, their patience ends up paying off there. We saw time and time again that they were more concerned with ensuring that BDS didn't score instead of if they could score. They did that enough. They finally had an opportunity open up down the field and they took advantage of it. And it was like you said, extra going to be thinking about that wide open shot that he had towards net and just wasn't able to connect with the ball. He puts that in and BDS is already playing in a game three with a two nil lead. That was a massive miss. Well, going to have to put it out of the mind. And, you know, an interesting stat from that game. Apparently, Jack, five saves on the game, Sleepy. So uh, we definitely saw some great defensive performances from everybody on the field. But apparently, Jack, uh, especially so, always seemed to be coming up clutch there for Dignitas. So we're tied at one now, heading into game number three. Of course, this being a best of five means we've got at least two more to go here. As Dignitas looked to bounce back off that five game thriller against top blokes about an hour ago. It's now apparently jacked towards the box. This will be Violet Panda out to Jorias. Does he have a second touch? No, not enough boost to get up there. It'll bounce to the midfield line. Mark by eight wants to take it away. So the first 40 seconds or so gone. And uh, again, a back and forth affair. I would not be surprised if this game and honestly, the rest of these games see uh, stay low scoring. Yeah, I mean, with how both teams are playing right now, it, it wouldn't shock me at all. The defense, I think the focus of both sides right now, because it, it's like they say, you know, you, you don't have to score a lot of goals as long as you prevent the other team from doing so. And it seems to be the methodology that both sides are using, which is don't overcommit, don't extend yourself, just try Ooh. and keep it in line that was a close one extra mere feet away from being unable to make that one he gets there just in time here's apparently jack out of the corner marked by eight plays this way up high down in front really a beautiful passing play dignitas ready for it this time and are able to play it away that's been that's been i think the key for dig we, something that we didn't see from ricks necessarily in that series as that had a chance to go in. Like he does get the deflection, but the back wall defense from Dig has kind of frustrated BDS. They like to go for these longer passes, kind of have somebody lurking on the enemy back wall, passing it down out in front. And Dig has been ready each and every time. We haven't seen them uh, fall victim to that play quite yet. Not yet, but again, there's still plenty of time, both in this game and this series. Oh. Oh my goodness, so close, Monkey Moon, almost able to pull that out of the bag of tricks. And we're starting, I think, to see Dignitas maybe pushing up a little bit too far. I saw a lot of open space in that opportunity. BDS controlled it just a bit closer. They might have had an opportunity down the field, but it also feels like both sides picking up the pace here a little bit. Good pass, great save, Monkey Moon. Just gonna make it on the line. Apparently Jack wants to try his luck now. No problem for Mark by eight. Extra can't get the dunk. Demo on to Mark by eight on the back line. Monkey Moon's gonna be last back, makes the play. And we are going to continue to play on. Nil, nil, two minutes to go. In game number three, a very, very low scoring uh, series here so far to start this one out between Team BDS and Dignitas. As this could be dangerous out in front. Joria's 
Just able to clean things up. Mark Payne has to be careful. He's got two players bearing down. Will eventually turn on this ball, try to stop it towards the top of the box. Apparently, Jack comes away with it, but just not a whole lot of space to do too much. However, it keeps staying on the offense, and we haven't seen, again, either team really come away with uh, large amounts of possession. That's a great play. Go. Finally, the ceiling pass works for Monkey Moon, and he somehow gets this over that last defender 1-0. And this again, just these touches, so accurate. He has to hit it that far left, not only to get it on target, but to keep it out of the clutches of that defender who was cutting in. It's beautiful to see that level of accuracy coming through. And now it gives Team BDS the lead. Little over a minute to go. And if Dignitas is going to come back, I think they are going to have to knock up the pressure a little bit more here, because especially when you're playing from behind, you can't afford to let BDS control and waste time. Good pass across again. Monkey Moon's there to make the play. I'm sure we'll see Dignitas start to throw everything they can. Here's Juarez down off the ceiling. Extra's up for it. Monkey Moon with some space to clear on. He's going to steal this backline boost and give apparently Jack some trouble in the corner. Now extra solid challenge. Marked by eight double touch just a bit high. Couldn't quite find that sharp angle to put it home, but the time continues to tick. We're into the final 30 seconds. BDS hanging on to this one goal lead. We saw Dig tie things up late in game one. Can they find the magic here again? There's a pass down blocked away. Still, Violet Panda's gonna keep it moving. Spark by eight, tried to play in and out of the corner. Apparently Jack. Now Jory is to Violent Panda, has it blocked away by his teammate, and that will waste the rest of the time. Monkey Moon just has to see this one into the ground, and he will. The bump helping out, and it's a one nothing game for BDS. Talk about a close, close series. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if cl close is even an appropriate enough word. They Dignitas had that phenomenal opportunity right there at the end. It's a block coming through from their own team. That is absolutely just crushing for them. It was the opportunity that they needed. It would have set up our third overtime in a row. But instead, you know, BDS off of that really accurate shot into the bottom left corner is able to hold on to their lead. And now going into game four, they're on series point. They have the option to take things here, Hunted. And I don't know, I still feel like this may go to a game five. Well, I think if you're BDS, I think you want to avoid game five at all costs here. Try to win it right here, right now, because Dignitas has certainly shown that they have been able to keep up with the play. Given a little bit of momentum, they can certainly make some magic. They do find themselves down a game. As... Boys in blue, try to secure the series. Great demo, beautiful play. First on the board, it comes early this time. Yeah, it does. And again, Monkey Moon just with the control gets it over the demo, clearing the way. The squishy save looked like it was being attempted there, but no attempt able to come out the other side. And so just like that, opening 30 seconds, BDS gets out onto the lead and that's gonna start the death timer here for Dignitas. They have four and a half minutes hunted to score something. Otherwise, the series will come to a close. If you need that equalizer, certainly. The defenses Ooh. have been quite good, and it'll have to be even better for Dignitas to stop that one. Mark by eight, take advantage. Great challenge by Extra out of the corner. And that's one Violet Panther I think is going to want back. Oh, and that's such a clean touch by Mark by eight as well. I mean, he just gets a really good hit on towards ball and knocks it down as he comes across. And that has been the accuracy that I've been seeing, not even just from Mark by eight, but from this team BDS all day long. When they absolutely need to hit a shot, they are hitting it on a dime. It's another opportunity oh. off the backboard. Yeah. Just the follow-up gonna be through. That's gonna make it three nil. 
That is, this play is disgusting. That it's, how do you stop this? Of course the double commit, if you don't double commit there, then maybe you have a player to get out to that rebound, but the three way passing play on the breakout, not to mention the shot that goes high, forces the defender to jump for it, having to respect the touch. The rebound is perfect. And then there's the follow-up. How do you stop that if you're Dignitas rotating from offense to defense? Beautifully done by BDS. Put them up by three now. And this is what I was saying. So I don't think they want to see a game five. I think they want to end this right here, right now. Yeah, I think they do as well. And that 3-0 lead, I mean, we're only just over a minute in, Hunted. The other games were so incredibly close all game long. And then here we are in game four and it's three that Dignitas is going to have to try and climb back from. It's certainly possible. There's three and a half minutes, but BDS is off to a meteoric start in this game, and already being on series point is putting a lot of pressure on this Dignitas team to make something happen. And the one thing that Dignitas really, I think in my mind, has to be concerned about here is over committing, leaving more space in behind, and being under the threat of going even farther down. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're still playing some defense here as we approach the halftime. BDS certainly trying to squeeze as much life out of Dignitas as they can right now. It's apparently Jack, that's a missed touch. Monkey Moon, a wide open goal. Make it a four nothing game and here are the mistakes now for Dig. This finds the back of the net. Make it, again, a 4 nothing game. As these teams continue to battle it out. Dignitas, again, off a, uh, off a pretty rough series from top blokes. The game five loss. Looks like they will uh, be down 0-2 today. Certainly... Uh, have an opportunity to bounce back against Ricks. Though Ricks did play quite well in the series against BDS, so we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see how that one goes, as this will break the shot out. Mark by eight can't quite get back to it. Uh, Joria is able to make the touch. Yeah, Joria is just able to get that powerfully towards net. No one really back at defense to handle it. And, you know, it does get one back and do Dignitas get the three goals necessary to be able to get themselves back in this game in two minutes? Uh, I'm less sure, uh, unless BDS starts to really make some defensive just mistakes, to be honest with you, on their end. They've been controlling it really well. I think that goal mainly just comes as a consequence of a really, really quick transition, which they've been, uh, we've seen Dignitas be good at throughout this game. But... You know, time ticking away. The pressure is still on. Three goals is a lot to ask for. And with each clear from BDS, it becomes that much more difficult for Dignitas. Yeah, I, I just find it funny that you say BDS needs to make some defensive mistakes for Dig to get back in this game. Like, we haven't been making fun of BDS and these bizarre triple commits at times. <laughs> I mean, they're going to well, have they, to do it three, sure three times in a row. In a row right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, that would be the ultimate caster's curse. Could you imagine? Well, you know, I kind of <laughs> hope that doesn't happen now, because if, if they end up triple committing three times in a row and Dignitas comes back, I'm going to be a little bit worried if they're going to want to bring me back. <laughs> well, thanks, Sleeky. This is your first and last uh, English <laughs> broadcast. But uh, now it does look like Team BDS going to secure this one, secure the series as well. Oh, no, that's going to fall gonna in. Oh, oh my goodness. I thought for, I thought for wow. a second that was just going to float on in. I'm like, come on, Dignitas. Don't go out like this. Not like this. <laughs> that was a nice save. I think it was apparently Jack who made the made the play on the line. Let's keep it out. But, uh, yeah, while we've got a couple more seconds to go here in the series, do want to thank um, everybody involved, Team BDS, everybody on the, uh, the backside of that organization, of course, Rocket Baguette as well as Monkey Moon with the hat trick here in game four, making a 5 1 game. And um, we are delighted to be here in English for you all. Of course, the French stream hasn't gone anywhere. You can watch that over at BDS Esport uh, on Twitch. And there is also the Spanish stream as well 
uh, for those who would like to listen in Spanish. Unfortunately, Sleepy, we kind of got started today uh, kind of quickly, and I didn't catch where exactly the Spanish stream is. I'm going to look that up over the break. Uh, so uh, we have that information. I apologize on that. But there is a Spanish stream out there. Make it a 6-1 game. Monkey Moon grabs a fourth. And uh, Dignitas, uh, it was a tough played series, a well played series, but things kind of falling off the tracks a little bit, if you will, in game number four and BDS with a convincing win. Yeah, I mean, it, it really did feel like Dignitas just ran out of gas in that game or in that game four. They looked so close throughout the other games. I mean, they tucked that game off 